All right, here's my sample. Don't panic, but this is what I've done. I have taken the yarn off and put a needle into my gusset socks, uh, stitches right here, so you can see them. That's why there's no yarn there. And I have gone ahead and divided the stitches, count your stitches, and I'm taking my yarn out. Notice how mobile this can be with circular needles. Can't do that with double points. They'll be on the ground in a minute. Here we go. So count your stitches and then divide them in half and just drop in one needle across the front and one needle across the back. So we've got two needles hanging there. And the yarn is coming from the back needle for me right now. Drop that on the table. So it will say that you evenly place them on four needles. And of course you don't have to do that. So here's our front needle. So I've picked up the end of it and we're going to start the decrease for the head of the mittens, for the top of the mittens. And the decrease is going to be done on both needles. So it's going to be a knit one and then an SSK, which is slip two one at a time as if to knit and then knit them together. There we go. It's like that. And then we're going to knit across the front needle. This is kind of like the toe of the socks. So if you'll go to the website, springersyarnnook.com, and watch the sock video, we close the toes up the same way we close the mitten top up. It's the same process. So you get out a little piece of paper and you write one, two, one, two, one, two, because the first round we're going to decrease on both our our needles. Just exactly what we're doing right now. Here we go. We go down to the last three stitches and you're going to knit two together and knit one. Okay, now you're going to pull that needle till it's on its cord and then you're going to turn your needle, you turn your stitches so the yarn is on the back and you have a different front needle. And we're going to load it, which means we're going to slide the stitches on it and go to the end of the needle so we have the right needle front to back. And on the second needle, we do the same thing we did on the, the other needle. We're going to knit the first stitch and then we're going to SSK. So we're going to slip one is to knit, slip two to knit, and then knit the two stitches together. And now we're going to go across the needle to the other side. And we're going to do a decrease on the other side, same as we did it on the first needle. We're going to knit two together and knit one. Here we go. And this is exactly what we did on the toe of our socks. Here we go. Three stitches. So we're knitting two together. Here we go. Knitting one. Okay. You just simply slide it onto your cord and turn it so that your thread is coming from the back to the front needle. So that's your first round. We've done a decrease on two needles. So that would be round one. And this would be the second round where you're just simply going to load your needle, find the end of it, bring it around, pick your yarn up from the back, and we're gonna knit around this needle and the needle behind it. That gives you round two. So the first round is decreasing on each needle, and the second round is just knitting around. And you do this until it gets down to the designated numbers of stitches that they want you to have to close it up. I believe this generic pattern was like uh, 16 stitches, which would be eight stitches on each needle. So you can tell there's a few, few rounds you get to do here. And kind of relaxing, and, you know, and if you get interrupted, you've got your markers on your paper, and you just pick your little wad of yarn up, stuff it inside, pull your needle, and just go do whatever you've got to do. Now let's finish the thumb. So here's the thumb. It has our 10 stitches hanging out on it, and we put a needle in it, taking the yarn out. And now we have to pick up, let's, where's our yarn? There it is. We're going to have to pick up five stitches. Oh, we're going to need a needle. Let's see. Here we go. Another size seven, nine inch circular needle. 
and you want to get your mitten so the front side is facing you on the right hand side of your thumb gusset. We're going to tuck this little piece down inside. I got a little raw space. In. There we go. Okay, the first stitch is always the hardest, but we're going to go right here. And we're going to pick up just five stitches on this side so we can make a circular for our thumb. First one's the hardest because you've got a loose tail. So let's see if I can pop it through on the first time. There we go. So there you go. So there's one. Pick it up again for you. So we're going to go into this stitch, about every other stitch, to give you five stitches on this needle. Two. Three. It's a little tight because it's a small thumb, but here we go. Four, the one over here. Five. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's five. All right, so looky here. Once again, we have two needles and the yarns to the back. We're gonna have another full circle again. So we load the front needle, find your end, bring it around, bring your yarn from the back, These are our 10 original stitches that we added on to. This one's the last one, it's a little tight. There we go, I get it from the back. So we're going to knit it. Now once you get it knitted, then pull it tight and pull your back up to it so it'll tighten up a little bit. So we're gonna knit around these 10, right here. And we're gonna make this tiny, tiny little circle that you'd be doing with three probably three double pointed needles sticking out all over the place. And we simply have two points comfortably in our fingers. Okay, so there it is. And we pull it out, let it rest on the cord, turn it to the right. There's the yarn in the back. Here's our five little stitches on the front. Now remember, this one's loose because we just added him. So he's got a tail in there hanging out. So tighten him up a little bit. Okay, find the end of your cord for this needle. Bring that one tight. It's a little tricky right there. Kind of do a phasing in. See that? There you go. And knit it. And then when you put it into the next one, then tighten it down right there. And then we're going to knit these five. So you're going to continue knitting front and back needles until you have, let me see, I'm thinking it's like one and a half, two inches. Pull it through, turn it around. Check your um, pattern to see what it requires. I can't remember, but anyway, find your needle again. This one doesn't have any resting rows and there's no decrease. So you're just simply knitting in a circle with two circles so that you get this tiny, tiny little thumb growing. And then when you get up as high as it needs to be, an inch and a half or maybe two. I guess if you have a taller thumb, you might need to get a little taller. Sometimes you need to know that you need to get within a half an inch of closing off, like on your toes. It says an inch and a half from your tallest toe. So on your thumb gusset, it's probably about a half an inch from the top of your thumb. And I'm sure everybody's thumb is a different height. So here we go. Let me just show you how this closes up. <laughs> Got them a little tight there. Oops, split that one. There we go. This one, this one. Okay, pulling it through, turning it around, and it's just starting to grow right up. All right, when you get the heights you're gonna know you need for your thumb, then you're gonna start doing decreases in your stitches. And I believe most of the patterns will call for you knitting two stitches together. I think everybody knows how to do that, so I'm not gonna show you how to do that, but just knit two stitches together. And it shouldn't be any problem because you're on two straight needles going in a circle and you just keep growing your thumb. See how much we've already grown our thumb? Until you're up to the top, knitting two together at the top up here, cutting your string, threading it through and pulling it tight, and you're gonna have a full-blown mitten, and I'm gonna get my mitten and show you what the thumb looks like. I'll be right back.